In a world where supremacy at sea is more contested than ever, a new era of weaponry is taking shape here weapon born not from one nation's ambition but from a powerful Franco-British alliance. This is not just a missile. This is the 2026 future cruise, anti-ship weapon of France's ASW and the UK's FCAS, a symbol of modern warfare's precision and stealth, and a bold statement in naval dominance. Welcome to Motor Authority, where we dive into the most advanced military technologies shaping the future. Today, we're taking you deep into the most highly anticipated missile program of the decade year an evolution designed to replace legacy systems like the French Exocet and the British Harpoon, and challenge the growing threats in the Indo-Pacific and beyond. Let's begin by understanding what sets this missile apart. Known interchangeably as FC Slashes War Future Cruise, anti-ship weapon of this is a project rooted in cooperation. The program officially launched in 2017, but 2026 is the pivotal year, the year when this missile will enter testing and potentially be deployed for real-world missions. So, what is it exactly? At its core, the FC, ASW is a next-generation, stealthy, long-range missile capable of striking enemy ships and land-based targets with unprecedented precision. Designed by MBDA, a European missile consortium, this dual-role missile aims to replace multiple aging platforms in both the French and British arsenals. But it's more than a replacement to its revolution. Two primary variants are in development. First, the low-observable subsonic cruise missile, often compared to the American Tomahawk or the French Scalpeg. This variant is optimized for deep land strike, using advanced guidance systems, digital terrain matching, and a very low radar signature. It is the surgical blade of modern warfare, capable of slipping past enemy air defenses to deliver a precise, devastating blow. The second is a high supersonic, possibly hypersonic, missile designed for anti-ship roles. This variant is all about speed, maneuverability, and kinetic impact are specifically engineered to penetrate layered naval defense systems and neutralize high-value targets like aircraft carriers. Reports suggest speeds in excess of Mach 3, perhaps even approaching Mach 5. Its range is expected to exceed 500 kilometers, making it a serious threat to any adversary's fleet. Let's talk about stealth because that's where the game really changes. One of the FC slash ASW's most defining characteristics is its shaping and materials, which make it extremely hard to detect, track, and intercept. Inspired by the latest in radar absorbing coatings and angular geometry, the missile's cross section is minimal, designed to confuse and overwhelm modern radar systems. But stealth is not just about invisibility it's about survivability. The longer a missile can stay hidden, the better its chances of reaching the target. But it's not just the exterior that's revolutionary. Inside, the missile uses multi-mode guidance systems, including inertial navigation, GPS, terrain contour matching, and potentially AI-based object recognition. This means that even in GPS-denied environments are like those created by advanced Russian or Chinese jamming systems the missile will find its way. And it's not flying alone. Network-centric warfare is key. The FC, ASW is expected to be fully integrated into future combat systems, able to receive updates mid-flight, retarget dynamically, or even abort based on real-time battlefield intelligence. Fighter jets, drones, submarines, and surface ships will all be able to feed data to and from the missile, turning it into a node in an intelligent kill web. Now, let's talk launch platforms. Versatility is everything. The FC, ASW will be compatible with a wide range of launch systems. Submarine launched versions are being tested for the Barracuda class and Astute class submarines. 
surface launched options are being developed for the French Frem and British Type 26 frigates. And perhaps most fascinating of all, air launched versions are also on the horizon are fitted under the wings of the Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon, giving European Air Forces long range strike capabilities never seen before. And don't forget the geopolitical message this sends. In a world shifting toward multipolar power dynamics, Europe is often seen as fragmented and slow. But this missile program defies that narrative. France and the UK, two historically competitive military powers, are pooling resources and technology to produce something that neither could afford to build alone. It's a demonstration of unity and mutual strategic vision. Now imagine this, a coordinated strike in the Indo-Pacific. A French submarine stealthily cruises the South China Sea. A typhoon flies high above contested airspace. A British frigate scans the horizon near Taiwan. All three launch FC, ASW missiles simultaneously. Targets include a hostile radar installation, an enemy destroyer, and a key logistics hub. Within minutes, these targets are heater before any countermeasure can react. That's the operational doctrine being refined around this weapon. It's not just about hitting hard. It's about hitting fast, from everywhere, at once. And yet, the missile is still shrouded in secrecy. Neither France nor the UK has released full specifications, and for good reason. Military advantage lies not just in capability, but in the unknown. What we do know is that 2026 marks the start of its integration into live exercises, with full operational capability expected within the decade. There are also whispers rumors of a future hypersonic glide variant, possibly under development as a second phase upgrade. Imagine combining the FC slash ASW's stealth and guidance systems with hypersonic maneuverability. That would place Europe firmly in the top tier of missile technology, challenging American, Russian, and Chinese supremacy in this domain. So, what does this mean for the global balance of power? It means that deterrence has a new shape. The FC, ASW gives France and the UK a credible, modern strike option. It complicates the calculations of any adversary. And it ensures that European navies can hold their own in an increasingly contested maritime domain. But let's not forget the FC, ASW is not just a weapon. It is a product of political will, industrial innovation, and alliance strategy. It proves that, even in a divided world, cooperation can still produce cutting-edge results. You've been watching Motor Authority. If you want more in-depth breakdowns of the weapons, vehicles, and systems that are shaping tomorrow's battlefields, subscribe and stay locked in. The seas are changing, the skies are shifting and with the 2026 missile, Europe has fired a warning shot across the horizon.